Good evening and Elev Tov. Uh, I'm Kentaro Sonora, State Minister for Foreign Affairs of Japan. I'm honored to have an opportunity to address at the AJC Global Forum tonight. First, I'd like to convey Prime Minister Abe's message. I quote, I'd like to offer to my congratulations to you on the 2017th AJC Global Forum held with large attendance. On this occasion, I'd like to express again my respect for AJC, which has exerted its power to act over many years, pursuing peace and human rights, not only in the United States, but also in the international community. The relationship between Japanese and Jewish people has been fostered by actions of our forerunners, such as Chiune Sugihara, who saved many Jewish people during the Second World War. Today, Thank you. Today, we have an opportunity to develop Japanese-Jewish relations even greater. I'm delighted to see that exchanges between Japan and the Jewish community in the United States have deepened since I assumed office. I welcomed AJC executive delegations to my office annually for the past three years. That is because Japan attaches great importance to ties with the Jewish people. Our exchanges with the Jewish community in the United States form an important tie supporting the Japan-US alliance. Under the, the unshakable Japan-US alliance, I will continue to contribute to the peace and prosperity of the world. The peace and prosperity of the world are an aspiration shared by Japan and the Jewish community. I conclude my message wishing you to the success of the event and hoping the stronger relations between Japan and the AJC as well as Japan and the Jewish community." Unquote. Thank you. Thank you. Now, I'd like to talk on Japan's relationship with the United States and the Jewish community and Israel. After the change of US administration in January, the leaders of Japan and the United States have had close coordination based on personal relationship of trust. Our alliance is becoming even stronger as the security environment in the Asia-Pacific region becomes severer, the Japan-US alliance based on the universal value, such as freedom, democracy, human rights, and the rule of law, has been increasingly important for the peace and the stability of the region. Thank you. The relationship between Japan and the Jewish community in the United States, including AJC, plays a prominent role in deepening the Japan-US alliance. I respect AJC's efforts in developing ties with Japan. I've been to Israel twice officially. I thought over the long history of the Jewish people in front of the Wailing Wall, and I felt the sufferings of Jewish people at the Yaz Vashem. Yesterday, at the Holocaust Memorial Museum here in Washington, I renewed my pledge not to repeat the tragedy. Thank you. In Japan, we remember the historic tragedy as well as the goodwill and courage through Japanese diplomat Chune Sugihara during the Second World War. He served Jewish people from around Europe by issuing visas to them. Two years ago, I visited the Sugihara House Museum in Kaunas, Lithuania, which was once Japanese consulate office. There, I was convinced that Sugihara's humanitarian action is a symbol of our bond with the Jewish people, and we must pass on this story to the future.
In order to reinforce the historical bond with the Jewish people, the government of Japan has invited young Jewish Americans to Japan. I myself have met with young members of AJC and other organizations many times in Japan. On the other hand, in July, Japanese diplomats are to visit Israel by AJC's invitation. I hope such mutual exchange programs will expand. As to Israel, as a result of the summit of diplomacy since 2014, every aspect of Japan-Israel relations have dramatically progressed. Six cabinet members have visited each other's country this year. Japan's direct investment into Israel has increased 20 times over the past three years. Thank you. Japan has actively involved the, in the peace in the Middle East with Israel's cooperation. We particularly continue to promote the Corridor for Peace and Prosperity Initiative to expand the regional cooperation among Israel, Palestine, and Jordan. And to support the economic independence of Palestine, Japan will continue efforts to promote dialogue, cooperation, and trust building among parties concerned. I'd like to conclude my remarks by wishing you successful forum and expressing my high expectation that the tie between Japan and the Jewish community will be developed even stronger into the future. Thank you very much.